Hello there my lovely jewelry makers, I'm Christina of CSL Designs and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you three easy ways to wrap a star shaped stone and all these techniques will work regardless what size your stone is, it doesn't have to be the exact same as mine and now what I've done is because there's three different designs in this video we have version 1, version 2 and version 3 and if you prefer to watch just one of them rather than the whole video or you want to jump between them I'm going to leave timestamps in the description box down below so you can easily get to the one you want quickly and while you're there, you can also like, share and subscribe. Otherwise, if you want to learn how to make these three designs, then keep watching. So for the first version, we're going to basically kind of create a star within the star as we're wrapping it with our wire and capturing it. So it's both practical and also ends up looking really cool. For the first version, these are then the materials that we'll need. And I'm just using a regular round silver coated copper wire in a 0.4mm gauge. So that's quite a fine one because I'm working with some small stars, but you can always change the gauge to match the stones that you're working with. And then of course we do just need the stone itself as well. I'm just working with this two centimeter star shaped stone. And this one is black so it'll make a lovely contrast with the silver wire to really make the pattern stand out. And the tools we'll be needing is first of all a pair of flush cutters here so we can of course cut the wire. I'm using some tweezer nose pliers just to help manipulate the wire. And then I'm using six step bell making pliers for any loops we need to make. You can equally just use round nose pliers. So the length of wire that we need to cut is about 30 centimeters here. Now, of course, if you say using a larger stone, you would need a longer length. So I'm gonna grab my stone and then with my length of wire here, I'm gonna make sure to leave about five centimeters or so for tail. Then I'm gonna lay it across one side of the stone, going from one side in between two points and then basically crossing over two points and then coming down between them. And then otherwise just hold it against the stone here. You can also bend the tail down a little bit. Now the main trick with this is to basically hold the wire in place as we're working with it. So we now have the wire coming around the back. I'm going to bring it down the back here, but then come up between the two points that are wrapped over the top of. So on the back it's just going over the top of one point and then just hold on to it there. So the wires stay down in between the points. As you can see, it's wanting to move because nothing's fastened yet, but just hold it in place. And then it's coming up between those two points. And then along the way as well, just keep pushing the wire down into those little corners between the points. And then go over two points again, but this time the next two, so the one we wrap behind and then the one after it, come down between those next two points there wrap behind just the one and then come up between the two that we just wrapped over the top of and just basically keep moving this around to be in position for the next wrap so rotate it so it's coming up between these two points so I need to wrap over the top of that one and then also the next one so we're constantly wrapping over the top of two points but gradually moving our way around the star Again, just push that down. Now come behind that single point. So the second one of the two we just wrapped over the top of. Up between those two, adjust how you're holding it. Wrap over the top of the next two. And as you can see, we're getting back to the point where we started. And then just hold it in place while we wrap behind that single one. And come up between them. And again, just Along the way, just keep pushing your wires into those little corners to get it as nice and tight around the star as possible. And wrap over the top of, in this case, the final two points, because now you can see we have a full complete star there in the middle. Now what I personally just like to do is take the tail that we initially left, just lift it up a bit, and then bring this last wrap underneath it, just to make it uniform all the way around because that way they're all crossing over, under, over, under. But you don't have to do that. You can just wrap over the top of it if you prefer. But we then need to just come down between those last two points, wrap around the back of that single one, and then it's gonna come up between the two points we just wrapped over the top of, and basically meet up with the initial tail that we left. And then we can just have a little look before we carry on and just push everything down wherever you need to to make sure everything is sitting in place before we fasten it off and we're basically going to do that by bringing these two ends up where they meet up here in between these two points and just simply twisting them together 
So just go like this. So we're twisting them right in between these two points here. And I'm going to keep twisting for a bit because we're basically going to twist them together and then use this length to create our final loop that we can then use as a bail. So just twist a decent little length so we have enough to make that wrap loop. And again, you can see everything has moved a little bit. So just push things back into place. You can also, if you feel the need to, if you feel any other wires have gotten a little bit not so straight across the star, using a pair of pliers to help straighten them out can be really helpful. Otherwise, just make sure everything is sitting how you want it to. So you can see we get that star in the middle and then we're just going to use this wrap length of wire, like I said, to make our wrap loop with. So I'm just going to make sure with my pliers here that is going straight out from the corner in between the two points there because we then need to bend it back a little bit further up at about 90 degrees. And then I'm taking my six step bell making pliers. You can take round nose pliers and place them on that bend wrap the twisted wire around so we get a full circle like that and then keep hold of that with your pliers so the circle keeps its shape while we're then wrapping below the circle and finishing the wrapped loop until we basically meet back up with the star and then you just want to cut off the excess tuck away the ends and then if you need to do any final adjustments, you can do that. Otherwise, you have your finished stone captured in a way. So we basically create a star within a star. And it's now ready to hang on a chain if you want to use it as a nice little pendant. And with this being quite a small stone, it would also make a really cute charm or pair of earrings. But of course, you can equally use bigger stones as well. That would really make that inner star that we created with the wire stand out even more. I would just recommend that you do use thicker gauge wire if you're using bigger stones. And as an alternative, using the same technique, you can go around with your wire an extra time so you basically get a double star in the middle with the wire. That would also create a really cool effect. You literally just continue one more round with the wire itself before you then finish off and make your wrapped loop. Now version 2 is a more simplistic and elegant style of capturing the star. And it works especially well if you want the stone itself to stand out more. And it's also super quick to make. Now for this version, we'll be needing some 0.6mm wire. And I'm using this copper wire to accent nicely with the stone I'm using, which is this 2cm opalite star shaped stone. And as for the tools, of course some flush cutters to cut the wire with, some tweezers nose pliers to help manipulate the wire, 6 step bell making pliers for any loops we need to make, again you can easily swap these out with round nose pliers. For this we'll need a length of wire of about 30cm, again if you're using a different size stone you might want to change the length accordingly. So I'm going to grab my six step bell making pliers here. You can use your round nose pliers if that's what you have. And first of all, we just then want to get to the middle of the length of wire. So roughly have the same length on both ends here. And then I'm just using the second smallest step. Again, you can use whatever size will fit your stone. Then what we're going to do is bring the two ends around and towards each other and have them just overlap a little bit. And basically what we want to do is create a bit of a teardrop shape here, so quite an elongated one. And of course you can adjust this to make it fit yours nicely. From here I'm going to then grab my stone and then we need to basically get this into position. So what's going to happen is the very top of the curved part of the teardrop shape there is going to lay in a corner in between two points. So just kind of try and place it there and then we're going to push that down with our thumb and then start to push the rest of it over the front of the star. So that crossover point is going to end up laying on one side here. And it doesn't have to be perfect yet, but what we're then going to do is just having that one crossover point, it basically is already making these two lengths of wires perfectly want to go in between on either side of this opposite point to where we place the initial loop there. So basically we just want to encourage that. So make sure that that loop is nice and tight down against your stone. And then start to push these legs, you could say, of the wire on either side of that bottom point and then around towards the back. And then we can just change our grip however we need to. And then on the back here, 
Just make sure everything is sitting still in place. What we then need to do is a little bit past the midpoint of the star. Again, you can kind of start to cross these wires over, but then what I actually want to do is start to twist them so they're going to stay in place. So you can just kind of grab them with your hand and then what I like to do is put a finger basically between them down where they're crossing over, hold on to them and then start to twist them together. We just need to do a couple of twists. Just basically twisting up towards where that initial loop is and then we can just have a little look, see if we're happy with everything. Looks good so far. And then what we need to do is basically bring these two ends up through that initial loop. So like that and just hold on to it the best that you can. So feed them through nice and gentle and then pull when you need to and just make sure everything is sitting nicely on the back. You can see we only needed to do a couple of twists there and then you can just push down that loop as much as you can and basically pull on these lengths at the same time because that's just going to make it tighter around the star there and we then have these wires going straight up from this side which is perfect to where we then need to make a wrap loop to basically be the bail so this is basically the star captured it's in there really nice and safely and it's a nice elegant way to capture it as well we still get a little bit of decoration there on the front and then to make our wrap loop, we're just going to work with both the lengths as if they were one. Now what you could do is keep twisting so you work with the twisted length, that's completely up to you. But I'm just going to work with them two separately lengths of wire here, but as if they were one. So I'm going to go up a little bit beyond where it's coming out from that loop. And then make about a 90 degree bend. And then grabbing my 6 step Birmingham pliers, again you can use round nose pliers. Bring them all the way around to make a full circle like that and then because I'm using two lengths of wire here I like to kind of keep my pliers in there while I'm then wrapping the remaining lengths underneath the loop and filling in that little gap that we left just so the circles there stay in place and I've now filled it in and I've run out of space we can then remove our pliers, cut off the excess, just like that, and just make sure to squeeze those little ends down so they're not going to stick out and catch or scratch on anything. And then you have your bale ready to put your chain in if that's what you're going to use it for, and a cute little pendant charm or earrings or anything else that you want to use this for. And for the final version, we're basically emphasizing the points of the star to use them directly to capture the stone with. So for the final version, I'm using this 0.4mm copper wire that matches nicely with my stone. Again, you can change the gauge accordingly to match yours. And for the stone, we again have this 2cm star-shaped one. Now as for the tools, we again need some flush cutters to cut our wire with. Some tweezer nose pliers to help manipulate the wire. I'm using round nose pliers because we need to get quite a fine loop. And finally, 6 step bell making pliers to make our wrap loop with that's going to be the bale. Now the length of wire that I'm going to be using is about 40 centimeters here. Of course, if you're using a bigger stone, you would need a longer length. So first of all, we're going to grab our wire here. And what I'm going to do is just put the two ends together because we need to find where the midpoint is. So up here where the loop is, is a roughly my midpoint. So what I'm going to then do is grab my round nose pliers. And like I said, we want to just get quite a fine loop. And you then just bring the wire around your pliers like that. So you can see here we get just a tiny little loop. All you basically got to make sure of is that you can get both lengths of wires back through this loop. So it really does not have to be that big. If anything, you want to try and make it as small as possible. And then what I'm just going to do is twist the wires together. Just once or so would be fine. And then this is basically going to be our starting point. So we have a tiny little loop there with a twist on the side. And we have our two lengths of wire going out in opposite directions. So now I'm going to grab my stone. And what we're going to do is place the loop basically in between two points. So it's going to sit like this and then just hold on to that with your thumb. Because we then have our wires going either side around that first point in that direction there. 
and we just want to continue that so bring them around and basically have them meet up on the other side of that point so in the next little corner you could say and basically have them meet up on the other side of that point so in that little corner you could say and then just have them cross over just like that now what we need to do is twist them together again so I like to hold my wires in my hand and then I put a finger where they cross over right up against it and then I basically rotate my hand and create a twist. Now you just want to make sure as much as possible that that twist is sitting in the middle and you literally just need to do one full twist or so. Of course if you're using a bigger stone you can always do more twists if you feel that that's necessary and you got the space for it. But this is then connecting the wires back up there so we've basically captured around one point. Of course you can still take it off but that's because we've only done one so far. So moving on, keep holding your wires as tight against the star as possible. Now the wires are already going on either side of the next point, so encourage them to continue around and then meet back up on the other side of that point. And again, create a crossover point. And same thing, we're gonna then twist the wires together, aim for the middle as much as possible. And again, just do one full twist, unless obviously you're doing more for yours, then in that case, just keep it consistent throughout. So we've now captured around the second point and the wires are already going on the sides of the third one there. So encourage them to do that and then have them cross over on the other side of that point. Do your little twist and continue all the way around in this exact same way basically. So that's as simple as it is. We are using the points to basically capture each individual point all the way around one at a time. And it's the fact that we're going all the way around and meeting back up with the beginning that obviously captures it fully. So that's what we're working towards. Do that twist. And you can see I've now reached that very final point. I've got one left to capture. So we can just go on the other side and this is where the loop is. So just kind of try and avoid that loop for now. Do a little twist. And then what we need to do is, because if you remember I said you just need to make sure the loop is large enough to just get both lengths of wires through, but at the same time as small as possible. So what I'm gonna do is basically put these lengths of wires through this loop. Now it can be a little bit fiddly, so what can help is just lift it up a bit, because nothing's fastened down yet. We can kind of move things around and back into place. So just bring them through as gently as possible. Obviously from the underside when it was facing down towards the star, just gently pull them all the way through. And then as you pull them through, you can then push the loop back down to where we're sitting. And then we also get it back in closer to that little corner like it was originally. And as you can see, the rest of them are. So, so we don't want that kind of sticking up further out like this. We need it to go down and capture nicely, just like the other corners. And basically you can see that this has captured the star in place. And it's also kind of just added decoration all the way around, just emphasizing the points in a way. Now what this left to do now is use these two lengths of wire to basically make a wrap loop that's gonna act as the bail. So for this, again, because this is a bit finer wire, I'm gonna then twist them together. So basically just continue the twist that we started, twist it a bit further so we have enough of a length to work with to make our wrap loop. I find that to be a little bit more secure twisting the wires together to make a wrap loop with rather than using them separately when the wire is this thin. But of course you can do whatever you want with yours. So once you have a decent length that's twisted, we can then grab our pliers and first of all make sure that it's going straight up from that corner and then put a 90 degree bend going towards one of the sides. I'm going to grab my bail making pliers and bring the wire around so we make a full circle that looks like that. I'm grabbing my pliers, grabbing onto the circle so it stays in shape. And then just bring the remaining wire here, wrap it around underneath the circle, filling in that gap that we left until we have no more space left. And we just go in and cut off the excess like that. 
and then just squeeze down the very ends so they don't catch or scratch on anything. And there we basically have our star captured but using the points of it. And then of course you can use the bail to attach it as a charm, earrings, a necklace or anything else you can think of. So that was the third way of capturing a star shaped stone. As you can see they're all pretty simple techniques in their own right but at the same time also very different and each have their own cool effect. So you can of course match up the technique with whatever stone you're using depending what matches the best. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial for three easy ways to wrap a star shaped stone. If you liked this you might also like my previous tutorial of three easy ways to wrap a crystal. If you haven't seen that already I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below. Otherwise thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one.